Kanichi YouTubers, this is Red Talk straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers the movie, the very first one from 07, Optimus Prime Leader Class. This is an awesome little figure. But let's go ahead and show you the box, which I truly do not like. <laughs> first of all, it's shaped like a quarter of an ellipse. Seriously, what's up with that? And, and what's up with the notch on the bottom? You know, because of that, they have this huge gap, and I, I don't know if you can tell, at like almost two inches, so basically it's a huge figure for nothing. I know it's a little buffer, but dang. Anyways, there he is, Optimus, looking good. Uh, let's see what other things, uh, da, da, da. yeah, needs two AA batteries, he's an Autobot, advanced automorph, freaking lights and sound, see the movie, Transformer, Optimus Prime, that's a quarter ellipse, here's the side. Automorph technology. It lights up. It's kind of neat. So let's see the back. So you got that. Automorph. Flip down cannon. Yada yada yada. Robot mode. So we're looking good. We're looking good. Here's his stats. And if you want to read his bio, there it is. Cool. Bottom of the box. That's everything. Also, while I'm at it, since I remembered this time comes with instructions a little sheet over here to do who knows what registered online so this is the uh, the little sheet so you got leader class and yeah he was 70 freaking bucks in Japan there's Voyager class um, there's the product line for deluxes so if you want to take a look at that you need a protoform remember those yeah so do, 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 whatever the heck those were I forget little display stands and this is the evolution I like the evolution see the uh, G1 and then G2 or sorry not G2 so I love the evolution back in 85 86 whatever brawl and whatnot Scorpinox so I love the G1 and music label I did a review on rumble and frenzy and I have these shoes the Nike shoes it's kind of neat all right enough about that go ahead show you the figure because I'm just gushing over the little box now. Figure's kind of cool. What else was I going to say? Look at that. I love the little Autobot symbol in the front. That's that's awesome. I love the grill. I love the mode work, the translucent lights and everything. The paintwork is just awesome. I love the quality of the paintwork. Uh, it hides the, the transformation lines really well. Um, they did a good detail in here. The cab is looking good. Translucent windows. Um, I love the windshield wipers. The molding is just fantastic. I love this sturdy plastic that looks like die cast, but it's not, and that's just the beauty of it. Very, very sturdy plastic. Very, it's heavy, and I like it. It feels like it has die cast, but no die cast on it. Wheels have rubber, the plastic innards here. I guess the only metal is that little screw in there, a rivet, whatever. I love plastic wheels. I mean, it's a retro thing. Uh, if you ever grew up in the G1 era, there's a uh, Ironhide. He's ugly. The plastic wheels, so you can see a comparison. All right, let's see. Very sturdy. A uh, little gap in between the dude's legs here. The back for the what do you call that? A little gap over here for the dude's arm. So you can kind of tell from the bottom. You can't really tell it's a robot. It has undercarriage uh, kibble, but you really can't tell it's. A robot and I mean yeah there's little gaps in here but it looks really good paint apps are beautiful very sturdy plastic you can tell it's a high quality product uh, smokestacks are kind of short but hey what can I say beautiful looking product it's given a 9 out of 10 oh yeah and yeah it rolls <laughs> it has this little thing in the back to hide the gap but you know other than that yeah it rolls what can I say oh one thing I forgot Press the button on the top. Hey, I'll show you that. Yeah, neat. Hey, it didn't talk. These guys didn't talk back then. So, first thing we're going to do to transform them is split the legs. And this time I'm going to do them some justice there. Let those things down. Sorry, that's not. That's part of the legs. These are the legs right here. Split the cab right here. Uh, I love this automorph gimmick right here. And just move that down real quick so you can see. All right, we're gonna first thing. Also, I forgot we're gonna move this the cab portion down. The little, well, not the cab, the front the, where the engine is. I love the detail. Look at that. And if you can tell, made in China. I love showing this. 2006. 
So that's a little old, but it's a good figure. I mean, this is right after the Masterpiece line. Okay, enough about that. Let's automorph this. I love this automorph right here. Y you push this down, and then his... I love that. It's kind of neat. Let's show that again. If I can just pop that down, and yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's, it's cool. It's a neat little gimmick. All right. A little, what do you call it, knee pads move up. Yeah, so there we go. And those are the legs. Let's just move that down for now. Okay, because we'll do more later on. We're going to split open the arms. Get rid of all that. And from the back here, just move it. Okay, just pop them out. We're going to pop open the head, and let's see if I can... This is cool. You just press this button right here. And let's see if it pops out. Oops. His eyes do light up, so let's do that again. Alright, cool enough. So yeah, you got the little... I love this gimmick, so one more time. Alright, enough about that. Let's move his arms. They pretty much accordion out, so that's what I do. I just make them accordion out. There we go. <laughs> So yeah, we'll, we'll move that to the side. And I hate these shoulder joints that pop. There's a tab right there. They pop in, kinda. And they tab in, kinda. I love the automorph there. You love it. I love the gold detail in the grill. It, it's kinda neat. I'll show, you, I'll show you that later. This little piece is on a ball joint for some odd reason. And it covers up the shoulder joints. And that's one thing I really don't like about the movie line. It's just, that, it's just extra pieces for no apparent reason. But if he, we have, if he have looked bat worse with that on there i don't know but hey whatever why do we need that piece it's worthless all right enough about that flip over his hands right here from the bottom just flip out and i love these hands they're really nice same thing on this side flip it up i love this little indentation so the engineering is really good i love that fact that they took their time to engineer so you got that little piece right there. It's beautiful. Uh, again, the shoulder's weak. All right, where was I? Oh, yeah, these pieces right here. Oh, yeah, clip this over here. So I love that red molding on that. Just the colors are vibrant. All right, so swing that down from the back. Yeah, doesn't attach, but it's sturdy enough. All right, I'm going to move this piece over here. This is where the batteries are hidden. I love that. It's on the extra gas tank. But first, move, move the legs down, move that out of the way from the back here. We're just going to move that up. Yeah, I don't like the kibble. It just gets in the way, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to flip this, these extra low pieces. We're going to flip that up. That's good. And see these tabs right here? I'm going to flip that here. We got a little tab right there that connects right there. So just like that. Same thing with this side. Connect. <laughs> I thought I had it connected. Anyways. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. The tab right there. Okay, same thing on this side. So yeah, I mean, that's good. Kind of gives them backpack. And then we're going to accordion this. The wheels, uh, I don't know why it's two solid pieces, but it kind of flips up and then like that. And there's this little tab right there. These little pieces just tab right there. Snaps right in. So, other side. All right, good. That's good. Okay. All right, we're almost done. Okay, heel spur. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. One thing is that we're going to have to see this part right here. Kind of, you have to rotate the legs down. And this tab right here tabs, this tab right here tabs right into there. So it tabs right into the torso. And I believe that's it. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. I want to show you the fingers because they really thought this out. Ball joint on the thumb. Yeah. And you got the top three move and the little pinky move. So yeah, good articulation there. I, I really, I really dig that. 
Okay, and he's got this gimmick right here where you can just flip that out. I really like how they thought that out. I'll show you that right here. A little automorph. See the little that just extends. Really well thought out. So just pop that like that. And this sucker does fire. I really hate those shoulders. So yeah, I'll get that later. <laughs> Looking good, looking good. I just wish some of these pieces would fall into place a little better. I mean, they click, but oh well. Not bad, I love it. Of course, I love the Automorph. Head rotates 360, not on a ball joint. Shoulder rotates, I love that ratcheting side. I love those ratcheting joints. It moves out, so you got those two points of articulation right there. Uh, bicep swivel. Almost well, like like an elbow has a double jointed elbow. So the joints are weird, but I guess it's for transformation kind of a double jointed elbow Wrist doesn't move but you got plenty of articulation on the hand No waist swivel because it kind of joints in there. So that's one thing I do not like Okay, no waist swivel ratcheted hips Yeah, no thigh swivel, but it does have a knee swivel and the knee does ratchet and it is a humongously ball jointed ankle and I love these little ankle pivots here and the heel spur heel spur does have this little bit over here I guess so it doesn't uh, break a little extra but oh well there you go knee pads I mean he's sturdy excuse me while I there we go let's give you a size comparison there he is with Megatron that's a deluxe figure I have him with Weaponizer Bumblebee so let me put just to show you so he is about Weaponizer size so Bumblebee of course is in the package he's about like half an inch so he's probably slightly taller than these Weaponizers but hey what can I say that's a good looking figure I mean the detail on it molding everything else is just beautiful uh, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because they really thought this out. Uh, it's the first attempt and it's very ambitious and he did a good job tabbing it. It looks really good. So robot mode looking a little, yeah they got a lot of junk and kibble in the back. But I like it. I like it. So yeah, junk, kibble, whatever. And the joints are kind of loose. But I still like it just the same. Maybe it's just because I bought it used. Alright YouTubers, that's all I got. I'll catch you all next time.